head us came into the house. Late into the night, about past 11, they broke into a first house where they were thinking they would have people to hold, but they didn't see anybody. And then my aunt's flat was the next building, so they broke into the house. And after ransacking the house, collecting monies, collecting phones and other valuables, they took the husband and the son and told my aunt that they would call the morning after. They wanted 15 million naira, and then we were able to negotiate back and forth with them. And then by the last day, they had agreed that we should pay 2.5 million naira. But on the grounds that we're not going to pay, we're going to bring that money same day by 4 to 6 p.m. And that once we can't bring that money that day, we should consider, I should consider my uncle and the son dead. After a very long time or long search, we found one Okada man randomly who was willing to volunteer to join us to the forest and um, it now became a case of who would join him. I just summoned the courage at some point and said, you know what, um, we have to face this, someone must do this. While quite a number of my family members, my aunts, a few of my uncles kicked against the idea of me going because they, they, they knew, they understood the risk involved, I just told myself that I'm going to face this. Me and the Okada rider, I had the money, I held the money in a bag and um, it was raining heavily and then we just went on riding through the forest and then we got to a point we saw a flashlight from a big torchlight you know f flagging us down to say hey guys wait and then we waited and then we parked and the moment we parked you know it was dark and it was all forest area we couldn't see anybody we couldn't see anything but we noticed some we noticed a voice saying is that you guys we said yes you guys should wait and we waited and they said who has the money and then i responded and they said okay come down and come towards our direction so they kept pointing at their direction with a torchlight so i walked to the guy holding the torchlight who was equally heavily armed and then he had said is that the money i said yes he said um are you sure it's complete i said i'm very sure it's complete he said okay um I would ask you to stray further into the bush, you know, just go straight into the bush, just go straight into the bush, use this footpath, he showed me a footpath and asked me to just stray there in there, use that path and that I'll still meet a few guys in there. So I walked for about three minutes and I walked into two guys sitting on a metal bucket, guns strapped on their chest, you know, and they had said, who am I? I said, I'm a social person representing this family who were kidnapped about 30 days ago. They said, okay, you brought the money. I said, yes. They said, where's the money? I said, that's it I'm carrying in the bag. They said, how much is it? I said, 2.5 million naira. They said, are you sure it's complete? I said, yes, I'm very sure it's complete. In fact, I told them that if you wouldn't mind, I could sit down here with you guys, count the monies. If it's not complete, I have additional 5,000 naira in my pocket that I can use to make up what is left. At that point, I became a little apprehensive too because I realized that while I was talking to these guys, one of them stood up from the metal bucket he was sitting on and it was all bullets in the bucket. I gave them the monies and they said, well, um, they said they're going to advise me that when I go out there, I should tell the whole world that they are representatives of Meiti Allah. 